and qualify identifier assignment. The global object sits at the top of the scope chain. When attempting to resolve a name to a value, the scope chain is searched. This means that properties on the global object are conveniently visible from every scope without having to qualify the names with global this dot or window dot or global dot. Because the global object has a string property, here in parentheses we have object that has some, we have another parenthesis, global this comma inside single quotes string. You can use the following code. And here we have this function name foo. Inside of the curly braces we have the function stream. Inside of the parentheses, inside of the single quotes we have the the lowercase letter s. And in the comment it says no the function string is implicitly visible. And we can grab it. We can go to the Chrome Developer Tools with you can go to any tab and press Ctrl Shift I. And now we're gonna paste it here. And we can call this function. You put semicolon at the end and then the name of the function and the parentheses. And we're gonna get undefined here. So the global object will ultimately be searched for unqualified identifiers. You don't have to type global this that stream. You can just type the unqualified stream, the corollary in non stream mode, in non strict mode is that assignment to unqualified identifiers will if there is no variable of the same name declared in the scope change as soon as you want to create a property with that name on the global object so here for example we have foo is assigned the in single quotes the lowercase letter f in non strict mode assumes you want to create a property named foo on the global object and then we have object that has on parentheses global this comma inside single quotes we have foo so we can grab it here we go to our depth tools we paste it and it's gonna come as true okay in strict mode assignment to an unqualified identifier in a strict mode will result in a reference error to avoid the accidental creation of properties on the global object. Note that the implication of the above is that contrary to popular misinformation, JavaScript does not have implicit or undeclared variables, it merely has a syntax that looks like a DA.